Hey guys, we are doing the BoxyCharm unboxing and hopefully our power doesn't go out again. This is getting very, very old. This is attempt number four. Yeah, the, the, we've been sitting back here for a while. Oh, you don't get that. I don't get that. This it's is June. The BoxyCharm Express Yourself. Express Yourself. There you go. Take that. Ooh. That's a big bottle. <gasps> is this a uh, dry bar? It's dry bar, a liquid glass, miracle smoothing sealant. I'm using this, not you. Meet the ultimate frizz fighter. Heat activated technology wraps an invisible shield around each hair strand to pr provide frizz resistance. Leaves a super glossy, silky finish without weighing hair down. Lasts through three washes. So, it's like a treatment. Do you put it on uh, wet or dry hair? Does I it say? I don't freaking know. You're holding I'm the so bottle. excited about this. Uh, use for use on damp hair. So when I get out of my shower, you're going to be putting that on my hair. Do you have to heat style with it? I, I mean, to. I assume if it's dry bar, you do because they're like really well known for their styling stuff. I love their products so much and I don't know where I can buy them with my license, but I'd really like to. I found some good deals on Sephora. The last order I placed, I got a bunch of the triple sec because I freaking love that product. Sure. Not sponsored. Moving on. There you go. Open the box. This is the Chella Dual Liquid Eyeliner Pearl. Hello, beautiful. This long-wearing liner glides on effortlessly with its uniquely designed tapered brush. These two shimmering shades, black oh. and icy blue, contain rich pearl pigments that provide a smudge-proof luminous effect. Why do they have to be shimmery? Why is it so hard to open this? There's a seal on this, isn't there? I can't get it open. Like, I appreciate the safety seals, but, like, also, I hate them. Don't use your teeth. I'm going to hunt your teeth. I feel like Wet n Wild is really well known for making packaging you can't get into. I feel very safe, but also very frustrated. Just so intense. I'm not super excited that this is like a pearl formula. Hot potato. Alright, well I ended the side that's black. I appreciate that it's like two colored liners. Rather than having to buy like two separate products, but why why the shimmer? Like who asked for that? Why the blue? You know what? I, I like blue. I have fucking knives. What am I doing? But like, why is it shimmery? Oh my god! The way you're not supposed to use a knife. Yep. Towards you. Yep. It happens. We can't lose power and go to the emergency room in one day. I mean, I figure if we lose power again, that's, you know... That's going to be at least our highlight. The, at least the emergency room is air-conditioned. Yeah, they don't have good Wi-Fi, though. And struggle bus. Why? Why? All right, whatever. Both sides are open now. Yay. So that looks blue. Wow. What a concept. And there's the black one. I don't know how I feel about this applicator. It's like very, very, very long compared to what I'm used to. There's the colors. I mean, the, the blue is pretty. I'm just not super excited that they're shimmer formulas at all. It literally screams, I'm going to stab myself in the fucking eye. <laughs> Probably. All right. Uh, here's the next thing. There you go. That's, what is that? That is by Volition. Volition Beauty Turmeric Brightening Polish. An indulgent polishing scrub powered by turmeric to visibly brighten skin and reveal a natural looking glow. I have been looking for something to reveal my natural looking glow. <laughs> I wonder if it smells like it. Oh, there's a safety seal here too. We're just so safe today. 
I don't have patience for this. And I just got my nails done, so I'm not trying to, like, screw them up. I'm going to deal with... You want to do it? Does it say if it's for face or for body? This is for both. Oh, that's cool. There you go. Thank you. Does it smell like turmeric? <laughs> does it taste like turmeric? It does. I'll give you a dollar. No. <coughs> turmeric, uh, yeah, face and body. Sweet. Can't wait. Neither can I. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Oh, we got a little guy in here. Ooh, little Kismet. baby. This is from Kismet. It's a polished lip plumping gloss. As sweet and soft as a baby, this lip gloss offers up the ideal pinky nude pout. Ooh. The perfect everyday gloss. Plump your lips and reduce wrinkles in one simple swipe. This whispered lightweight treatment moisturizes and provides a natural glossy finish. Oh, look at that. Put it on. It's an odd Put looking doe foot. Lips right now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That looks like something you would wear, too. Yeah. It kind of has, like, a light vanilla scent. I don't feel like that automatic... You have a light vanilla complexion, so that works. ...burning sensation that you expect with a lot of plumping glosses. I don't know about this color. Look at how plumpy your lips are. That's that's what they always look like. Plumpy. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's like a really, it's a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. It's fine. We'll see how it wears. All right. Our final product is the Violet Voss Sun-Kissed Summer. Yay. I love Violet Voss. I know you do. Oh. So I'll take the little screen out here, give them a little looky-see, see what the palette looks like. I mean... It looks like bunch of stuff you have yeah that yellow's really pretty but i feel like i have all of these colors already are there any matte colors in there i feel like the, all these colors are on my shirt yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah so the this is a matte this one two three four mats six shimmers so the matte that's called tan tan lines which is funny uh, sandbar sensation cool down yeah so one two three and four are all mats I, I really like violet boss but I don't know I, I was, feel like it's like a mixture of, of stuff from previous pa palettes I feel like I have all of these colors in other palettes I really like their formulation always but it kind of I don't know if I was thinking about like a sun kissed palette that's summer inspired, I probably would go for some more brighter colors. Maybe yeah. some blues yeah, for the gosh. ocean. I don't know. It'd be pretty, but I mean, I'll give it a shot. That looks like a very chunky glitter. That brown one. The second one on the bottom. This one right here. Yeah. That it's looks like, like a, a red. Yeah. It's called very hot. That, that looks like it's just going to go all over your face. Mm -hmm. I've been letting these liners sit here for a hot minute. They don't seem to be transferring, right? They don't seem to There's be... There's on my hand. They don't seem to be coming off there, Chief. So... You're probably going to need a makeup wipe for that. Do they look... Do they look shimmery? Honestly, not really. The, they, they don't really look like they're, like, glittery kind of thing. They just look like they're bright. I like the brightness, but I mean, I'll try them, see how they work. <coughs> they look very color saturated. Yes. Which is good. That's what you want in a liner. Um, and I have to wash my hair tonight, so I guess I'll try this out, see how it goes, report back, and as I'm washing my hair, I will use this. I've been trying to find like a physical exfoliant for my face that's not super harsh because you don't want really big particles on your face because you have the potential to then scratch yourself. So I'll try that out and... Hello friends. So I'm checking in. 
Um, the pictures that we put in the video are right after the application. This is probably like probably nine hours after everything's been on. And let's just take a peek. I feel like the eyeliner held up really well. I'm very excited about that. I'll pull out the palette, show you what I used. So I went with all the matte colors just because I was not feeling the shimmer today and it is what it is. I'm not really like a very glittery person, but that's on the outer part of my lid. It's like a, it's my skin tone ish. And then this is like a light mustard yellow. And then I used this under my lashes, the cool down, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like, I know I really like this formula. I know, you know, it's very easy to use. I feel like there's not a lot of kickback. You don't get a lot of fallout, but it is really pigmented. And I got like a lot of compliments today on my makeup. So that was nice. I was, you know. Everyone likes a nice compliment. And I just feel like it held up really, really well. Very vibrant still. I don't know how well it's like picking up on camera, but I really like it. Um, the lip product, <coughs> excuse me. I don't feel like, I think it was supposed to be like a plumping gloss and I really didn't get that from it. I didn't get like, normally you feel like a tingle or like, something and there really wasn't anything there so like it is what it is the color's fine it wore nicely it was a little sticky but not too bad like you know glosses always have that feeling unless it's marketed as a lip oil it's kind of always sticky I feel like um the exfoliator I do really really like that I've used it probably like three times since I got it and I don't feel like it really like sucks all the moisture out of your skin. <clears throat> I feel like it was pretty effective. I, you know, it's great. It's fine. It's not anything that I'm like incredibly blown away by, but I did like it. The product from dry bar, I cannot remember the name of it, but I really, really liked it. Like it's very humid outside and I like blew out my hair and this was like from Friday. It's Sunday and it's still really like, it's not frizzy. It's really, really shiny. I'm very happy with that product. Like I said, I really like dry bars products and I really wish that I could figure out where I can buy them professionally. So I'm not spending a whole lot of money, but also like I'm willing to spend you know, a decent amount of money for it. The, um, the hair anti-frizzy stuff was great. I used it too. Yes, he used it too. I ended up braiding his hair for him and that held up nicely. And you it liked it? Great. Perfect. So now we know on blow dried and also air dried, it's a great product. Uh, the eyeliner, I know I was a little like shitty about it when we un unboxed it because it said it had that pearl complex to it, but I mean, it's maybe not completely matte, but I don't mind it. And I was a bit worried that the brush was like very, very, very long compared to what I'm used to, but it almost was a little bit easier to apply than my normal liquid eyeliner. So I will be using that again. I can't wait to use the blue side because the blue is really, really pretty. But yeah, that's how everything wore. I don't think I have any other comments. I'm very shiny. It's the summer. So, uh, did we get any of the same stuff in our boxes? Let me know down below. Have you tried any of these products before? What are your thoughts and feelings? Do you have any other blow dry bar products that I would also love? Let me know. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Yes, at uh, Ray Animator and Twitter. I think that's, wait, I think it's, it's all mixed up. I haven't recorded a video in a very long time. I've been a very busy lady, which I'll talk about maybe in another video, but you'll find all the social media handles at the end of the video. 
and I hope everyone is staying cool and also trying to stay sane just based on everything that's going on right now. And I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Checkity check check check. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants.